All right, here we have fuchsias, girls three and four. Girl three has the green collar and girl four has the orange collar. These are English cockapoos. They are a very family friendly dog, very affectionate, loving, gentle, really delightful dogs. So that's girl four on the outside there. And on the inside of the two, well, kind of, is girl three. <laughs> They hate the new collars. They just got the collars an hour ago, so they're still getting used to that. They love to play in a tube. They like that little train toy back there because it has tubes. When the puppies are older, they play on the slide, but not at this age. At this age, they love the tube. Well, at all ages, they love the tube. They love these little octopus toys, a half inflated ball. That's very popular. A fully inflated ball is good too. You want lots of textures, lots of different toys, lots of different chewies. I like those basted beef bones. Um, I like rawhide, like Costco sells it, where they're called... Um, retriever rolls. So rawhide is fine for a mid-sized dog because they don't just swallow the whole thing in a, in a, you know, 10 minutes like a lab will. But when it gets to be about three inches long, then it's time to throw it out. Um, they like pig ears, no more than one a week. They love bully sticks. Uh, bully sticks I get from Costco and those are ever popular. They love, you know, the, the Nyla bone. That was the surprising, you know, just last year I started using Nyla bones. And I thought, why would they chew on a bone made of plastic that says it's flavored like popcorn? <laughs> but surprisingly, they love them. <laughs> so we give them those too. I try and give as many different textures, flavors, colors, sounds, you know, some squeaky toys, some not squeaky toys. There are puzzles that you can buy on Amazon. Uh, look up feeding puzzles for dogs. And you can't believe the fun stuff that they have these days. <laughs> and puppies love them all. So the more the merrier. Yeah, they like that toy because it's a tunnel. I thought they'd do the slide more when I purchased this, but 12 week, 12 week old puppies will do the slide, but these little ones will never, which is fine. They can just crawl through the holes at the bottom. They like that. And when, when I put a whole litter in here, then they all get the zoomies and they really run through. It almost look like water pouring through those holes. It's pretty fun. Oh, yeah, a little too bristly. There we go. What a good girl. <laughs> it's a tug of war. They can't see each other, but they can feel the tug. These puppies will have a low to non-shedding coat. And it tends to be wavy. They, um, they need to be groomed every eight to 12 weeks. So you can take them to the groomer or you can buy a pair of clippers and go on YouTube and learn how to groom yourself. Either way is totally fine.
Let's see if I can get you a better shot of these girls. <laughs> They're kind of under the tube. One's on the inside. That's that lump. The other one's holding the tube down with her body. <laughs> so that's girl three on the outside and girl four on the inside. <laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let girl four out. Come here, baby. You wanna come out? No. No, she didn't want to come out. All right, then. <laughs> I highly recommend a toddler swimming pool for puppies to play with in your yard. Lacking a swimming pool, one of those under the bed bins works great too. Just put some water in there and your puppy will have a blast in the yard. All those collars, such a trial in your life. girl three in the train over there and there's girl four going to join her and these are fuchsias english cockapoos girls three and four <laughs> 